Hey everyone, this is going to be a follow-up about a design flaw that I mentioned in my full review of the Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle from LEGO. So to establish context for this video, let me go ahead and play a segment of that previous video. I am pretty certain that this viaduct is placed here with an illegal building technique, one that LEGO itself does not allow. I believe the viaduct itself, which is a sub-assembly you do on its own and then place into the rest of the model, is slightly longer than the gap that it fills. When I placed it here, I had to actually wedge everything else apart. And then when I got it into its final location, everything sprung back together and it was extremely firm, much more firm than seems a reasonable range of tolerance. Some viewers have suggested that the issue must be the result of an assembly error by me, which is a perfectly reasonable assumption. I do make mistakes. I don't know anyone in the world who doesn't make mistakes. And just in general, LEGO is better at designing things than I am at assembling. <laughs> Not to mention the difference in skill and design just on its own. Uh, I did check as much as I could of, of the assembly. When I encountered this error, uh, checked and checked and checked and could not find anything. Here's the, the thing about this. Uh, all of the assembly, all of the structures that have any effect on the geometry and placement of these, this viaduct bridge here uh, involve only studs on top construction. So if something is off it's going to be off by quite a bit it's going to be off by a full stud now when you're dealing with slight angles that can be reduced but it's still going to be significant the difference that i encountered here was very slight let me see if i can actually yeah there just pull this up a little bit so this is obviously able to fit into place there's just a little bit of squeezing force between this part of the the foundation of the castle and this section over here. So I have to push those apart just a little bit to get this to fit. To illustrate this better though, uh, and to, to take assembly errors out of it and kind of cumulative tiny, tiny errors of just having parts slightly twisted, I made the most basic skeletal model of the situation. So this is just duplicating the exact geometry of what we have here. Let me put these back to make sure that everything is forced to to line up uh, correctly but yeah if things were if things were off by a stud it would have been very significant it's not significant at all as i can demonstrate with this copy even by putting it exactly into place so this hinge right here is lined up perfectly with the hinge down below the one that's connected at at this end and then this hinge right here is lined up with the two that are down here at the base on this side and then this is the exact length of the the viaduct bridge itself so everything is just is just duplicating exactly uh, what what is there in the castle but without the possibility of all sorts of issues all sorts of assembly errors being you know being committed against the entire rest of the build so as you can see this red representation of the bridge itself appears to line up just fine to that hinge. And in fact, I can put those two together, but I do need to, to use just a little bit of force, which is causing this to actually bow up now. Let's look at it from a different angle. So the, the bridge section actually has an arch to it now, and it's, it's easy for that to be uh, mistakenly shown uh, when it's as an optical illusion based on uh, the, the bend of light through the camera lens. So don't rely upon that as proof. That's not proof at all. What is proof is when I remove the piece, when I take the pieces apart again and show you right up close to where they come together. You can see that the red, which again represents the bridge itself, is slightly longer. It goes just past where that hinge naturally wants to line up. Now, I could try to fake that. I could try to pull this over here and say now they're they're lined up perfectly, but now you can clearly see that the hinge is not at the same angle. So you physically cannot make the connection like that. The hinge is pinched in too far. The hinge needs to be out to be at the same angle. And that's very close right there. So I ultimately have to 
push in the left direction against the the left side base, uh, the left side attachment point of the bridge, or push right on this blue section over here on the right hand side where this hinge is to separate these assemblies. And that puts some stress in there. And then I'm able to push it down and you know it, it works well enough. It's a very, very slight issue. I did not exaggerate it in my review. I mentioned that it's only you know, a, a small difference, but it's enough to require stress. I, I don't have any worries that these pieces are going to break. You know, in the long term, just having this on display, I, I'm not worried that the pieces are going to be bended and folded up or anything like that. It's not a dramatic issue, but it is an issue, and I believe I have uh, completely eliminated a assembly error in... Uh, as as a culprit for this because this this is just a a very simple thing right here and if uh, I've not put anything into it that could create that small amount of error uh, as far as I can see and what this shows shows exactly what I experienced with the real thing and exactly what I can continue to experience right now uh, you know again it's not connected at the base so you can get this to wiggle around just fine, but it's just wedged in there a little bit. So I just wanted to clarify that. I do have more pictures of, of this on Instagram if you want to count, uh, count studs. Uh, keep it in the, the correct orientation here. Count studs, look at the angle, you know, uh, see what the, the actual math of it all is. But in practice, uh, it just is a little bit long not a big deal but i did want to be clear about that and uh, confirm that uh, it does not appear to be an issue with the construction of of my castle it's just a tiny tiny little design issue that comes from the fact that most triangles in lego are not exact and you have to have a little bit of tolerance some things will be a little bit short but okay some things will be a little bit long but okay in this case it's a little bit long and okay enough. That's just that. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.